Welcome as well to this video. Will Sebastian here from The Training Mentor. Don't forget underneath if you want to join us live. We did another smasher session earlier. Tons of guys in there learning how we hedge for income, how we use damage control to sustain ourselves in all markets and really how we make an income from trading. So, some P, you're dragging down, you're seeing no real impetus, okay? There is no push here. Investors are a bit sour. And we'd said for ages, I'd mentioned it for a very long time. I said, you're going to come down. I said, uh, you should reshort all these pops. Okay, I labeled it, I drew it, I posted it publicly. Um, very, very simple trajectory you're seeing here. It's just that fear starting to creep in. It's just that waning of that positive bias, that positive sentiment, and that inflow of, oh, what's going on? Maybe I should pull my money out of risk on markets. Um, of course, this market propped up for ages by massive greed, massive, massive greed and hope, um, you know, basically in essence. But what you're seeing, like I said, is the fear coming in and it's coming in as things don't look as rosy from Powell. Powell was saying, you know, from the Fed, how great everything is, you know, the roses are red, the sky's blue, everything's fine and now suddenly, Maybe we'll hike rates. You know, that kind of rhetoric is what feeds into all of these low lows and lower highs. And that's the sentiment you have right now. There's no change from that. There is no other way about it at the moment. That is just incredibly weak. You can tell because every single hit here, you know, there's level decay going on. But to the upside, are you getting a big push? No. You're coming slap back down with these big juicy red candles and it's bringing you down. Now, if you want to short it, you're a little bit late to the party. Um, I would rather short on a larger pullback. I want to short within trend. I want to short within these MAs as they curl over and form what is the, um, the mid to long term downtrend. OK, you've got highs, lows, highs, lows. You would look for something like that. It does not make sense to be shorting right now, because if you try and do that, you're just jumping on the train after it's gone, more or less. And there's every case you could pop up like that. And um, so I would only short on pushes to the upside. And uh, you can just see the, the velocity of this is, is ferocious. Small hedge zone there, which we went over in the live room. I would say if you're an investor, probably your earliest point for longs is going to come down here. It's probably going to be in line with your uh, key support, which you can see clear points of it here. OK, that is a pivot zone, price rejection zone. That is where um, really your demand exists, if you like. Um, you know, so what you're looking for is just a clear reaction like that. I wouldn't be shocked if your 20 MA creeps over and you have a little bit of a stall in the market about there. OK, and my uh, SMA, my other one isn't there. I've just noticed it's deleted itself somehow. Annoying when it does that. Um, but that would be a oh, that would be a 40. OK, so we'll pop that in just for now. OK, you can see that now it's around here. Um, this 40 MA probably going to creep along and sit alongside that key support, which you can see there. But clearly the fear bias is coming in. Traders getting worried. And um, if you're buying now, you're doing so a lot of risk because not only is there fear in the market, you've come an awfully long way. That's why it's only suitable for hedges with, of course, our hedge strategy, which we went over today in the live room. Otherwise, it's going to be down here. Probably look to scale in further as we go. Um, should the fear continue? Should the market reset? As I said, it's bound to happen at some point. It's going to fall. It just can't go forever. That is a 23% fib, not an awful long way already. Um, and where this MA exists comes to the 50. So that may form an ideal zone as well. Probably something like this um, is what you're going to see. So I hope that helps. Don't forget to join us underneath. I'll see you in the next one. See you there.